Hey guys, it's Jodie and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a very quick first impression of, you've probably already seen the title, of my um, Felicia wallet. So this is the box for it. Um, I did ask for the Christmas packaging and I managed to get it in the bag because I absolutely love this gold but I didn't, <laughs> they didn't have any more of the boxes left so I was like okay whatever I'll take what I can so it did come in all this drawstring box with the dust box but I've already taken it out because you all know what that looks like so I just wanted to save some time so this is what the bag looks like and yes, I did get it in the Damier Azure print. I wanted a light color bag in like to use, not even just in summer, but all throughout because I do have some other dark ones and I thought this will be a really nice change. And when I tried it on in store, I immediately fell in love. I've got a few colleagues at work who also have this bag and they have it in different prints and they recommended me. So I tried it on and I immediately fell and I was like, I have to get it. So this is the Felici. It's got a long chain. I'll leave all the dimensions in the description box below because it's all, it says all of it in the website. So maybe just a bit easier if you don't want to go on the website yourself. And inside it's got the beautiful um, rose ballerina interior. I absolutely love it. I have it in like my rose leaf coin purse as well. I love this color. And inside you've got two inserts, which is probably my like second most favorite thing and my favorite thing is the shape of this bag that's i absolutely love how much structure there is these two are the inserts that come with the bag so you've got one with a little tabby thing that you pull and the zipper is smooth as always you just open it and you've got that leather that rose ballerine interior as well and you can put what I normally do is I put my coins, some notes, and just a few bank cards because I normally don't take this one out because I feel like if I have to fit, I'll show you if I have to fit my keys, I can't actually take both of them. So this is like my mini wallet. And this other thing is in this beautiful pink rose ballerine color. And you've got one, two, three. You've got eight credit card slots at the front here and a big compartment in the middle here as well that you can put some notes. So I do have to say, I don't, oh my God, there's like a, can you see that? There's like a mark on there already. I feel like Rose Ballerie will mark really easily and I never really used it that much. Okay, never mind, I scratched it off. So I don't really use this one as much, but I can see how functional it can be if you carry a lot of cards. I normally just take my driver's license and a bank card, so that's probably why I don't need all eight of these. But if you want your rewards card and on the go kind of pocket, so this is really good. Inside the bag, it's got this little tab. I don't know if you can see that. And what does it say? It says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. I did get this piece in Italy, in Florence, when I was in Europe. Maybe I'll put up a vlog soon. I didn't get too much footage, but um, we'll see how we go. So it was 675 euros, and I think you get about 12% tax back. I haven't got it yet, so if by the time I upload this video, I've gotten the tax back, I'll put it in the description box how much I got back. But yeah, I think it, they said about 12%, so we'll see. So 675 euro, which is a little bit cheaper than how much uh, it retails for in Australia. So that's why I got it then. And mine's made in France, and you inside you've got the coated fabric cowhide leather trim. So that's the textile card inside. I just keep it in this back pocket. So and you've also got this like compartment here, which is really useful. So I put on. Um, like what I did when I was traveling is I put my passport behind there and also some receipts or something like that. So I want to show you what I normally put into it because I have this six ring key holder and I put this little sticker because Melbourne had the time capsule for Louis. So um, I've just got all my keys in there and because I need all my keys, this bulkiness fits in here like that. And this height is perfect for it to close. It's a little bit harder to close when the bag is empty because you push a button and it kind of just goes through. So I have to fill it up some more. But because I have to put that, I can't fit both of these in. So I can fit one, I'll show you. So you kind of just put that in there. Can you see that? You can fit that quite pretty comfortably, I would say. Yep, so you just move it across and that's that's very comfortable. So I use this 
um, pouch as my wallet and I'll put my keys in there. I did want to use another proper wallet like my Rosalie coin purse. That is... Not nah, that wooden bit, can you see? The six ring key holder sits very flush, but the Rosalie coin purse is just a little bit too tall for it to close, so I wouldn't normally do that. But what I would do is either use this pouch as my wallet or I will just um, straight up use a card holder and put all my cards in there. That way, if I take this one out and put that in there, I've got so much space in there. Look at all that space I can put stuff in. What else I'll do is my lip balm. This is the Dior Lip Glow in pink, number one. So just slot that in there. Another lipstick. This is from Kiko. I love this color. This is um, 432 it doesn't have a name. It's the colour I'm currently wearing. I love it. It's like a really nice nudie brown colour. Got some mints. Um, important. And a little perfume. A little perfume bottle. Which I can fit on. So I don't, I can't, it's really hard to show you. If I use my card holder. That's pretty much what it will look like. I can even put this card holder in the back section. Like so. And then I've got a lot of space. I can probably fit like... A concealer or another lip lipstick which I probably don't need I mean it's a very very flat bag but it literally holds everything I need except my drink bottle which I do use quite often so um, I love this little piece so I just wanted to do a first impression I will have to update you on how the dummy azure works out for me because I'm this is my first dummy azure piece I don't know how color transfer will be but to be honest I buy my pieces to use I don't baby them I don't like think oh my gosh is it going to uh, ruin in this uh, clothes rubbing against this one and also I feel like this one's very um, weather proof as well because it doesn't have the vachetta or vachetta I don't know how to say it um, that leather so that makes it a lot more carefree so I'm like wearing a black tongue wearing like some denim jeans and I've worn it a few times and there's literally nowhere at the moment so it's a very structured bag that's probably what I like about it uh, so it's not, it doesn't flop all over the place and it literally fits everything perfectly. And these um, straps are detachable so I can just unhook them like this and take them off and use this as a little like evening clutch which is very cute. Or what I tend to do the most is uh, just keep it on and but tuck the straps in like on the inside because this little... Uh, what's this called? A D-ring. It flips over so you can have the chain hiding inside. I think that looks really nice as well. So I guess it's a very um, versatile little piece you can say. A few scratches on this button already. I've worn it a few times but I mean everything else looks really nice like the shiny hardware and all the cloths have the little LV and they're super shiny. I kept the little plastic thing on it for the longest time. My friends was like, just take it off. And I didn't want to, but eventually I did because it did kind of look silly. But I wanted to keep it as nice as possible for as long as possible. The chain isn't heavy, but it's it's like a good amount of what you expect it to be. It's not hollow or anything. So that's what I also like it. And it is very comfortable on the um, shoulder as well. So what I'll do is I'll just insert some mod shots now so you can see um, how it sits on me crossbody or um, on the shoulder. So this is how it looks on me on one shoulder. It's very comfortably on my hip. I quite like it at this length. Some people like it a little bit shorter when it's on this side, but I quite, this is like perfect height for me. So I like it just like that. So you can see. And if I wear it crossbody, it sits right there if I wear a crossbody. Just like that. So thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. I just wanted to jump on here to give you a little first impression and also show you some mod shots and what fits in the Felici and all the other prints are beautiful but I think my favorite is the Azul and yeah this is my first Azul piece so I am very very like this 
makes my heart sing every time i look at it i just have the biggest smile and i love love how it looks on pretty much every outfit because it's such a neutral color so i'm really really glad that i purchased this uh, if you liked the video or found it somewhat helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and press that subscribe button somewhere down below i would love for you to join my little youtube family and i'll see you on my next video bye guys